edge of the eye wall. This is the edge of the eye wall. The last three miles of the eye wall is just intense. Intense. It, this is a category four. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Little did I know, when taking this footage, that Hurricane Ian was just getting started, and that the extreme weather conditions we were experiencing would become much more severe in the wake of the eye. Weather Service, an extreme wind warning is in effect for this area for the immediate danger of life-threatening winds till 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Wow. Take cover now in an interior room of a sturdy building, away from windows. Protect your head from flying debris. Do not go out in the calm of the hurricane eye. Winds will quickly become dangerous again. of the eye is upon us and the worst of Hurricane Ian was about to hit us. Crazy. We're back in the eye wall. A fellow storm chaser in front of us vanishes into the blinding rain from Hurricane Ian's eye wall. They have to set a little bit. Whoa! 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 By this time, the extreme hurricane conditions are making it almost impossible to drive. I that now it's like heavier rain. Tremendous pounding of hurricane conditions. I decided to turn around and try to take shelter behind a small building we have seen across the street. However, at the moment of turning, I will be exposed to the extreme crosswind Hurricane Ian was hurling at us. Wow. It's over a hundred miles here. Look at the pole. Yeah. Wow. Am I getting I'm doing headwind? Alright. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little bit. At this moment, I am patiently waiting for a break between wind gusts to safely make the turn. <clears throat> And now comes the moment of truth. to a more sheltered location. Wow. 
now from this place, partially sheltered from the extreme turbulence of Hurricane Ian's eye wall. I watch in awe the spectacular force of nature that was unfolding in front of my eyes. Some photos, they're all broken up. For the next hour, I witnessed the most severe weather conditions I have ever experienced in my life. A true category four hurricane. Pressure on my brakes so hard. What about these trees? This couldn't get any stronger. But then it got worse, and we experienced the most severe Category 4 wind from Ian's back by wall. sway the truck from side to side. decision to move to higher ground. Luckily, the extreme winds we were experiencing had just relaxed a little, or so we thought. Look, I can, I can see better with, uh, your, with, your the, with the camera. That's the same. At this moment, driving through the torrential downpour, and hurricane winds became a true challenge. I can drive with the camera. Completely blinded by the heavy rains and wind, I resorted to the video image of my cell phone and the help of my chasing partner to navigate through the streets. Can you put your GPS? I need your yeah. GPS now. I need your GPS.
enche. Finally, we made it to higher ground. With the persistent rain and hurricane winds, we're far from being over. We got a gas station. Wow, it's good to Punching with brutal force, Port Charlotte, Florida. It's been battered badly by Hurricane Ian. And it's already 8 p.m. and it's still going like this. Yeah. There's a cable right there. <laughs> As the hours passed, I could feel the wind slowly winding down and finally have the relief that Hurricane Ian was slowly leaving us. Daybreak revealed a scene of utter devastation left behind by the incredible power of Hurricane Ian. Thank you. 